slash tickets. Well, we saw Kobe's being worn on the floor, and now we see Kobe on the sidelines with Holly Rowe. It is a little surreal to be sitting here. We're talking about the Kobe's that players are wearing. What do you think about the shoe game? What has impressed you the most? I love them. You know, I've seen a lot of different com color combinations that I didn't even know existed, quite frankly. Um, but it's fun. I'm seeing a lot of different, you know, shoes and the way that they personalize them makes it interesting. I just love that you as a dad, you brought Gianna here today. Um, you brought her to, to see the UConn ladies on their senior night. You bring your girls to see basketball. Why is that so important to you? Well, it's important for them to see great basketball. And, uh, and also, just for the women's game in general, it's important to, to raise awareness about it, to have more women out there playing the game, and it's the future. You've done a great job with your show detail. You do a lot of NBA guys, but you also do the women. I've seen an episode you did with Jewel Lloyd. I know you've got a close relationship with her. How are you trying to showcase that in your show detail? Well, just trying to break down the game to the smallest of detail, you know, and just trying to help players become better. Right, so the player out there that wants to be the next Jewel Lloyd, that wants to be the next Diana Taurasi, the next Sue Bird, you know, how is that accomplished? And it's important to share the knowledge that we have. It was also very fun to watch Diana Taurasi do a detail on an NBA player, you know, and uh, just bring down the game to the smallest of detail for them. I know that you've had a good relationship with a lot of these players. I noticed during the halftime, everybody came over here to talk to you, Chris Paul. But, you know, Jewel Lloyd, someone you've had a special relationship. You watch game film, you talk to her. What is it that you're trying to help her get to in her game? Well, Jewel, I've known Jewel since high school. And so, you know, when she's at Notre Dame and now it's with, with the Seattle team, I've watched her grow. And we've been in the gym together. We spent time together working on the mid-range game, working on her pull-ups and threes and reading the defense and things of that nature. And she's like a little sister to me, so anything she needs, I'm there for. All right, I saw some video of Gianna. She's got some game. How do you handle that as a dad where you're trying to encourage her but not overcoach or criticize? No, you know, it's just about learning and having fun. And what I've, what I've learned is, like, the most important important thing for kids at that age is to try to pique their curiosity, get them curious about, you know, get them asking questions because then they own their own development versus trying to coach and instruct over and over. You get them asking questions, how do I do this better, how do I do that better, and you watch them enjoy the game so much more versus being told what to do. All right, well thank you for your time, I love that. Be curious about the game, it pays off every time. Thank you, Kobe. You got it, thank you. That's an awesome perspective from Kobe Bryant, and definitely a different approach than I'm sure uh, some parents have from time to time when it comes to teaching their youngsters. But very cool to see the way Kobe continues to support this league.